What's up? So, I keep saying I'm gonna make a new team, but, uh, like, I seriously, oh, here was my mindset. I'm gonna play one battle just to get me in the Pokemon mood mindset type thing, and then I'm gonna build a new team. But the one battle I play ends up being, like, a, a good match. So, I decided I'll take it and I'll, um, record, um, it. So, let me, let me play it. So, oh, it's from his side again, cool. So, um, actually, let me, let me, I never, ever, ever, I don't think I've ever let off with Persian before. Okay, maybe I have, but I never lead off with Persian. But my thinking was, um, he'll, I don't want to lead off with Seismitoad because he is Vavillon. And, um, no, actually, it's just for Vavillon. But, um, he leads off with Hariyama, and, um, uh, my mindset was, um, there's nothing like fake out hits everything on his team hard and I can just fake out U-turn and outspeed everything. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Act like lead Persian. I, I, I've never even really think about this. I should consider this more often because um, if they're not running a rock or steel, then I should probably lead off with Persian. Well, no, because ghost too. But yeah, he doesn't have anything for Persian. So I let off with Persian and I am just going to go for the fake out. Get uh, a good chunk of damage off. And um, I'm just going to be able to you turn out. And I'm going to go into my uh, Vile Plume knowing that he's probably going to go for the knockoff. And I don't really care that much. Um, I could get Effect Spore and um, I can just Sludge Bomb anything. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> and um, I'm in for a little surprise next. Like out of all things, he goes into Executor, which is kind of weird. I guess he predicted me to go for the Sleep Powder. But I go for the Sludge Bomb, hit him for 83%, and he gets a Citrus Berry. And, um, gets another Citrus Berry. So I'm like, okay, he's probably going to outspeed me and be able to take me out. So I'm just going to go into Masharna, be able to pivot out into, uh, like, uh, Lipard. And, um, let's see how that works out. So he goes to Psychic, which, um, I could have just directly switched into Lipard, but I didn't want to risk that. Um, always got to play it safe. And, um... He goes to the Leech Seed, and I'm just going to Baton Pass out and go into my Light Part. And so look at how much of a man this guy is. So I'm a Dark type. I'm a Light Part. I have Knock Off, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to Knock Off anything when he switches out. He stays in. Look at how nothing that does. How bulky is this Executor? It did 40% a Knock Off. That, that just baffled me so much. And then I'm like, what the world? This man must be max. He has to be max defense. U-turn only does 50%. What in the world? I'm like, oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. I'm not even going to try to hit this man on the physical side ever again. Not once. And I'm like, um, my, uh, my Vileplume has just enough speed to outspeed him, like, uh, because he naturally has, like, 140-something, and my Vileplume has 157 speed, and I'm like, okay, I know that that defense is so high that he does not even have enough speed creeps to outspeed me, so I'm just gonna go into Vileplume and Sludge Bomb take him out. He does stay in, luckily. Because if he had switched out, oh my god, I think I would have lost that game. I don't know how I would have dealt with that. Executor is crazy. So he, he brings in Claydol, and uh, I didn't want to be taken out by Psychic, so I just go into Lipard. And uh, yeah, I was like, okay, and he could set up the rocks right here. And then Lipard would be dead, so let me just fodder it. And he gets for the rocks up, and I go for the knockoff. Another thing lives is, I don't know how these things are living the knockoff. That's really crazy. I'm going to have to make sure I'm freaking max attack or something, because like... That's really crazy that those things are able to live that. But uh, maybe he, he made it like that so that a black glasses uh, Lipard can't take him out. But I just go into Frog, get up my rocks. He's going to rapid spin. I mean, I'm just going to keep going for the rocks. Um, I was actually just going to do it one more turn so that I could be at max health. And <laughs> I don't know. Why not? I mean, he are you really going to sit there and rapid spin all day? I don't think so. And I was actually faster than him, and I haven't changed my uh, EV set yet. I, I, I want to still change it so that I'm faster than Claydol. All Claydol, that is. And he goes to the Quiver Dance. I'm just going to go for the Scald, hope for the best, try to kind of fodder my guy. But I'm like, oh, crap. 
he's not going to switch out now, is he? So I'm like, okay, as long as he doesn't go for the sub. Well, right now, I'm like, I can still break his sub. So let me just keep going for the skull. He puts me to sleep. I'm like, gosh darn it, what am I going to do right here? And I'm just going to go into Masharna just to try and bulky pivot out of here. But um, let's see. So he sets up another quiver dance on this turn. So it's actually looking kind of scary. But I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I can just go into... Persian and uh, fake out, faint, kill him, probably. So that's what I'm thinking. But this dude runs some really good sets because you'll see how... Um, I'm not sure if he's actually running HP or something, but um, he took hits better than I had expected. So I am going to go into my Persian, yep, and I'm going to go for the fake out. And I think you know, I can just kill him. But I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? I would think that would do more, but I guess not. And I'm not going to be able to take him out, so I'm just going to have to hard switch into my Seismitoad because he's going to attack me and Seismitoad's asleep, so it doesn't really matter. And I go into Seismitoad, and um, what does he do? He goes to the Hurricane, and I take that like well for being at times two. And here, on this turn, I'm like, okay. Uh, he is definitely going to want to recover HP with lefties. I didn't, um, think he had any other recovery than lefties, so I'm just like, okay, he's just going to set up quiver dances because there's no reason not to. So I'm just going to switch out on my Kangaskhan because if he does attack me, like, um, I, I felt like it was less valuable than Persian. So I'm just going in my Kangaskhan. He goes to the Roost and I'm like, oh, crap, what am I going to do? So I go for the fake out, and I didn't want to sucker punch because I felt it was just like 10 times too obvious. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't been not going for sucker punch a lot lately, but um, I think it was the safe play not to go for sucker punch. I went for double edge, and he's just going to take me out with Hurricane. And But, I mean, I did lose Kangaskhan, and I did lose like my Seismitoad, basically, and my Masharna, so that sucks. But I'm going to be able to go into Persian and revenge him, and... Um, so right now it's uh it's about three v three, but he has a fodder because Claydol is j it, it can't switch in. It'll die when it switches in. So it's three v three. I'm like, okay, I'm still in this. Like, you gotta you gotta keep yourself in the game. Don't ever give up. Just keep trying as hard as you can, because um you never know. And I well I mean I could say that because it might be a lot easier with the style of. Pokemon that I have or that I use a lot, fake out is just kind of easy to abuse. But I'm gonna U-turn out, get the crit. That doesn't really matter at all. Going on my frog, and um, just as fodder basically, because um, I didn't need to go into my vile plume yet. There was no reason for me to keep my frog at all. Um, yeah, not even one little reason for me to keep my frog. So now I'm just gonna go for the fake out. Like there's no reason not to go for the fake out. Um, I pretty much scare everything on his team and Claydol comes in as fodder and yeah so now he brings in his Hariyama and I'm just like okay I know <laughs> that um, double edge will kill so I'm just gonna take this opportunity to kill him when you have an opportunity to take Pokemon out I wouldn't recommend giving up that opportunity um, yeah so I take him out and he brings in the Tauros, and I'm just going to U-turn out. I'm like, oh, if he's Scarf, that's GG, but he's not. Going to U-turn out, go into Vileplume, just hope for the hacks. <laughs> but I don't really ever get effects for, and I mean, I'm not complaining about that. Because, uh, yeah, if they got paralyzed, that would just like make it kind of unfair in a way. So now it's just Persian left. I'm going to have to see what I can do. Obviously, I'm gonna just have to go for the fake out, um, double edge. I don't think I could have taken him out with a double edge, so he probably should have switched into his Mega Mortar right there and opted for the burn, but he didn't, and I'm gonna be able to take him out with double edge. So I definitely would have lost that if he switched into his uh, Mega Mortar right there, but I guess he didn't know that. Actually, no, I would have been able to take him out with double edge because it rocks. So either way. Um, once I got to this point, I didn't I didn't think Double Edge was going to kill, to be honest. I thought he was going to win, but Double Edge takes him out. And since he went down before me, I won. And it's no longer a tie. That's cool. So that was a pretty good game. And I don't know how long my mouse was there. That might have been annoying. But um, 
Yeah, that was like as narrow as a game can get. Um, I really thought I had lost once the Vivillon was wrecking me. But I will make a new team now if you're very boring, bored of me using this team. I think this is going to be like the finalized version of this team because I like this defensive core and I like this offensive core. Unfortunately, I couldn't fit Rotom Fan into it. Rotom Fan has to be one of my favorite Pokemon in NU. I know I'm going to make a team with Monferno and probably Executor because this guy inspired me to use it. It wrecked. And I might um, try Float Cell because I like Float Cell. Anyways, I hope I'll have a new fun team to play with and uh, showcase for you guys. So yeah, um, you can like it if you and liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it because no one <laughs> likes to comment, I guess. But uh, I'm going to start uploading more, so yeah, you can subscribe if you want to see more of this type of video. Goodbye.